Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Fall of the House of Usher. And this is Mike Flanagan's most recent mini-series that came to Netflix from adapting a series of Edgar Allan Poe stories as we focus on Roderick Usher and his family who run this very famous, very wealthy, controversial company and all of his kids begin to die. And we go through this process of figuring out exactly what's going on. And yet again, Mike Flanagan delivers really effective, really well made, an interesting modern adaptation of classic storytelling and delivers a horrifying experience. And this one feels much more like gothic horror than specifically going out and having a bunch of jump scares, which Mike Flanagan uses sparingly, but especially in this, uses them to great effect. Mike Flanagan's biggest asset as a director is his ability to use deep focus, and the framing device of this series is Bruce Greenwood, who plays Roderick Usher, being basically coming clean to his antagonist, his foil in this series, played by Carl Lumley, who's a detective. And as he's telling what really happened to all of his family, you see things in the background in this dilapidated home that are just haunting there. They're sitting there. They're causing tension. And they're not, like, outright being there to, like, jump out and scare you. They're there to build this tension, this foreboding atmosphere. And that's what Mike Flanagan does so well. And he delivers on that from a scares perspective, from that perspective on this film. I think the framing device is an interesting thing. It has a really creepy atmosphere with this dilapidated childhood home. Bruce Greenwood is fantastic in this series, really anchoring everything that's going on. And Carl Lumley is fantastic as well. So their dynamic in those scenes really work. The scares in those scenes really work. I do have to say, I feel like when they go f most of the flashbacks to when the Usher siblings, Roderick and Madeline, played by Mary McDonald, they're younger it's definitely less interesting, except maybe when we get to the final episode and it gives you a little context on everything that's actually going on. I think the real standout in this series is Carla Gugino, who I think is fantastic. She really gets to shine in these Mike Flanagan projects, and she is she is creepy, she's unnerving, she's ever-present and charming and kind of seductive on screen, and this entity that she's portraying really works in this series. I do have to say, a lot of the, like, adult children in this family are certainly not the most likable people, but each of these episodes tell a really interesting reimagining of a Poe story, and I really appreciate how Mike Flanagan has updated it, modernized it, and made it fit into the context of the series. Henry Thomas is great. Rahul Kohli, Samantha Sloyan, Tania Miller. Uh, of course, Kate Siegel, who is Mike Flanagan's partner. And you have all of these performances. I think the real heart, though, is Leonore, the granddaughter played by Kylie Curran, who was in Dr. Sleep. I think her presence here adds so much depth and empathy to the proceedings because, like I mentioned, you don't really care so much about the other kids, but I do feel like this show does lean on a lot of trying to explain a bunch of exposition and stuff like that, but overall is still unnerving, creates a great atmosphere, and Flanagan really understands how to create these scary scenarios. And even a special shout out to who I didn't mention, Mark Hamill, who plays like the family fixer and lawyer. He's just 
fits so creepily into this story. But overall, this is a really well-acted, haunting, and unnerving experience with some interesting modern takes on Poe's stories. It's not my favorite of Flanagan's miniseries, but it's definitely up there. I think this works on a lot of different levels. But those are my thoughts on The Fall of the House of Usher. Let me know what you think. Let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.